Hi, I'll show you how to get started in K2. You would start by clicking on the plus icon. This will provide you with a list of all the different template categories that we offer. Just keep in mind that our templates are very flexible. You can actually select a template in an industry that's not related to yours and make it uh, your own by just replacing the default images and uh, elements within the page. So you'll notice that this preview that we selected here gives you a nice overview of how that design looks along with the color scheme, the available template pages, and also a mobile preview. So I'll just go ahead and select one of the template categories here. Select real estate. And you'll notice that we have quite a few different uh, real estate templates that you can choose from. And I'll walk you through editing one of them. I'll go ahead and select this one. So to get started, what you would do is you would click on the green icon that says edit. And then once you do that, the site builder is preparing itself to, to be edited. So and this is the builder. You have the ability to, of course, upload your own logo. And then once you do, you can size it by clicking on these icons here. If you don't have a logo, you can create a text-based logo. You'll notice that we have quite a few fonts to choose from. Then you can Modify the color of the font by selecting one of these colors. You're not limited to that. You can also select additional colors. And then you can just start editing the, the template, putting in your own information. So I'll just customize this a little bit. And then replacing the header image, I'll show you how to do that you would um, just left click on the header and then upload your own image. And I'll just go ahead and make a selection here. Okay. And you'll notice that this header image has uh, kind of a rollover effect and I'll show you how to modify that. You would just click on the blue gear and then go to effects and it's on hover. So and you can actually play around with these options here. So I'll go ahead and turn off the uh, hover effect. So you'll notice that it's off now. And then, you know, with the rest of the content, you would just go in and replace the, the default content with your own. To add a new content section, what you would do is you'd click on the blue plus icon, and this is going to give you the content selection options. You can change the view by clicking on this icon. You'll notice that it's displaying quite a few more. It's giving you kind of a preview of, of what each content section looks like. And you can, of course, toggle that view. The other view is going to give you a lot more detail, but it's just uh, you have to go through them one by one. We have movies where we go into much more detail about these. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure to check out the rest of our movie tutorials for additional how-tos.